What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne, back with another video. And today we are here at Atlanta Classic Cars to take a look at the all new 2017 Mercedes AMG C63S Edition 1 Coupe. It's finished in selenite gray Magno with yellow accents. And for this generation of C63 Coupes, Mercedes-Benz did a lot more than just cramming an AMG motor under the hood. So today, we're gonna take a look at the exterior and interior details and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. When compared to the C300 Coupe, the C63S is a completely different beast. In fact, the only panels that it shares is the roof, the doors, and if you ignore the spoiler, the trunk lid. The overall structure of this car is composed of aluminum for weight savings, high strain steel, and ultra high strain steel. You're also getting aluminum front fenders, aluminum door panels, and an aluminum trunk lid. This aids with increasing overall efficiency of the vehicle. When compared to the traditional C Coupe, the C63S gets front and rear axles with wider tracks that have been composed of AMG components that increase rigidity and reduce weight. Now you're also gonna get revised elasto kinematics and wheel location, and that's gonna help increase negative camber. Now that negative camber is gonna give you increased grip and stability at higher speeds. In the beginning of the review, we discussed how practically almost all the body panels of the C63S are different than that of the traditional C Coupe. Now, we just covered how the front and rear axles have wider tracks. That's why the body panels had to be revised. In fact, the C63S is two and a half inches wider up front and just over two sixths of an inch wider in the rear when compared to the traditional C Coupe. In addition to all of that, you're also getting an AMG electronically limited slip differential. And that's gonna be able to lock the differential with greater precision and speed, which will aid in the driving dynamic changes of heavy cornering, accelerating, and braking. Let's cover the tires, wheel, and brake setup with the C63S. You're gonna get AMG forged wheels that have a staggered setup of 19 inches up front, 20 inches in the rear. They're shot in Michelin Pilot Super Sports that are 255 up front and 285 in the rear. You're also getting the AMG carbon ceramic brake system with a 15.8 inch diameter brake rotor up front that's been cross drilled and internally ventilated. The carbon ceramic brakes not only aid with heat dissipation, but in fact, they're 20% lighter than the iron rotors they replace, which is gonna assist with reducing the unsprung mass of the vehicle. Unsprung mass is defined as the wheels and bearings, axles, and other suspension components, as opposed to a supported suspension. Now, how does this all come into play? Surface imperfections in the road will result in tire flex, which in turn will place a force on the unsprung mass. The unsprung mass will respond with a force of its own. Now, the amount of movement due to surface imperfections in the road is inversely proportional to the vehicle's unsprung mass. Simply stated, the lower the unsprung mass a vehicle has, the more grip and constant grip the car will have. This is why components such as lightweight wheels and carbon ceramic rotors are highly desirable. If you had a heavier setup, you increase the chances for wheel hop during heavy acceleration and heavy braking. The C63S is powered by a hand-built AMG 4-liter bi-turbo V8 motor, which is capable of producing 503 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. Now it also produces 516 pound-feet of torque at a crazy low 1,750 RPM. That stays flat to 4,000 RPM. Now let's talk about the setup here. As you can see, there are two turbos placed with inside the V of the motor. Mercedes-Benz refers to this as the hot inside V configuration. And one of the main benefits to this is that there's nearly zero turbo lag because the compression charge from the turbos has a very short distance to travel from the turbo to the cylinder banks. Now, if you've been with this channel for a while, this motor might sound slightly familiar to you, and that's because it's the same motor that's placed in the Mercedes AMG GT. But there are some key differences here in the C63S application. For example, this motor features a wet sump lubrication, so it sits a little bit taller in this vehicle than it would have in the AMG GT, which has a dry sump lubrication system. And the C63S application, also the intercoolers sit directly in front of the motor, and the AMG GT, they're a little bit further out here. This motor is connected to a seven-speed 
AMG Speedshift MCT transmission. MCT meaning multi-clutch technology. It uses a wet startup clutch and ditches the need for a torque converter, which increases performance and overall efficiency. Now this motor is also connected to an AMG sports exhaust system, so I think it's time we hear what that sounds like. So that sounded pretty amazing. And that amazing sound is accompanied by pretty impressive performance figures. How about zero to 60 in roughly 3.8 seconds and a top speed of around 180 miles per hour. So we've covered some of the engine's characteristics and some of the exterior characteristics of the car. I think it's time to close the hood and take a look at the car's interior. The interior of the C63S Edition 1 is lined with Dynamica, yellow accent stitching, black leather, everything is soft and supple. There's aluminum trim and even a carbon fiber inlay going down the center console. The seats are pretty comfortable, yet firm at the same time and have nice side bolstering to keep you sitting in the center during aggressive driving. Starting off at the top of the dash, it's covered in black supple leather with yellow accents going across. You have your infotainment system here three large air conditioning vents with your controls for your air conditioning, controls for your navigation, radio, media, and telephone, a nice large carbon fiber inlay here with the AMG badging, two cup holders here, and then in the center, there's a cluster of buttons. This button is for your AMG Dynamic Select, which allows you to alter the driving modes such as Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, or Race, and each of these settings can tailor the throttle, transmission, and suspension mappings. Coming further back, there's a button that allows you to drive in manual mode using the aluminum paddles behind the steering wheel. You also have controls for your suspension, electronic stability program button, volume control. This button here opens and closes the flaps in the exhaust system in case you want that notable rumble. And then there's an eco mode. Your steering wheel is lined in Dynamica and it feels nice and plush in my hands. It's also really thick, which gives you a greater sense of control over the vehicle. You have contrast yellow stitching throughout, your traditional Mercedes-Benz bright work and controls for your instrument cluster and hands-free telephone. You also have this nice AMG Edition 1 badging at the bottom of the steering wheel, and you have a race-inspired flat bottom, which adds to the overall sporty appeal of the car. Behind the steering wheel, you get two thick aluminum paddles in case you want to drive in manual mode. The seats of this Edition 1 are absolutely amazing. They're covered in black leather, and then you have contrast yellow stitching in a diamond pattern. The leather is perforated. You have this aggressive side bolstering. That's gonna keep you planted in the center of the seat during aggressive driving. And of course, this is Mercedes-Benz, so the seats are adjustable in more ways than you need them to be. Briefly going over some of the details of the door panel, smooth black leather, contrast yellow stitching, this aluminum finish, controls for your power adjustable seats with three position memory. You're also getting heated seats in this model. You have an aluminum door handle, a Dynamica insert, and then they're gonna hit you with the contrast yellow stitching again here. And then you also have some storage on the bottom. That was a brief overview of the 2017 Mercedes AMG C63S Edition 1 Coupe. And I must say, this car looks absolutely spectacular in the matte paint with the yellow accents. If you're interested in this vehicle or any other vehicle here at Atlanta Classic Cars, be sure to contact my friend, Jesse Cannon Wallace. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.